Hey everybody, Michael Snyder here, National Weather Watch. Today is June 18th, and right now we're looking at the mid-level water vapor loop and starting off across Pacific Northwest. You can see that trough carving across the region, some very cold temperatures aloft here, impacting some of the Pacific Northwest. But it's a different story across some of the south down here. Some excessive heat continues and will continue across portions of Texas, Louisiana, even up towards Oklahoma there, and some of the Gulf Coast out there as well. You can see the severe storms that went through yesterday and continued on in through the day today and this afternoon noon this low pressure system is going to spawn some more as it moves across some of Tennessee here in surrounding areas this is looking at the if we take a closer look here you can see the overshooting tops check this out it's always kind of mesmerizing to watch these severe thunderstorms here and you can see these little bubbles here as this punches through into the lower levels of the stratosphere known as the overshooting tops the updrafts are strong enough to carry that momentum through the tropopause there so just kind of an interesting weather feature you can see the tropopause here is where most of our weather occurs and you can imagine those updrafts just punching into the very lowest levels of the stratosphere there anyway back to the forecast so you can see day one categorical outlook here some severe weather across the south tornado or two is possible down there across this area you saw those storms rolling through here we'll look at that in the nam 3 cam here in a moment there is a thunderstorm threat across the pacific northwest as well and some of montana and wyoming included this is looking at day one through three winter storm impacts you can see the pacific northwest if you want to cool down that is definitely the place to go here for the next few days even some minor impacts for some snowfall there across some of the higher terrain and probably just associated with temperatures as well you can get hypothermic off in the back country there pretty quick big and different story there down across the south across texas we'll look at that here in a moment this is day one excessive rainfall outlook here's slight at least 15 percent chance within any 25 mile radius of flash flooding conditions here with those severe storms moving over the area and that low pressure kind of spinning here bringing the training storms over in some some of the same areas repeatedly with some heavy rainfall this is fire weather outlook here across some of the southwest arizona new mexico some critical there for south new mexico on and through the day today this is looking at composite reflectivity so here we go you can see those strong and severe storms continuing to move down across some of the gulf coast and then you can see the redevelopment through this afternoon evening and overnight here across some of tennessee alabama mississippi there and out towards georgia here as we go on in through tomorrow and then you can see the redevelopment of some more severe weather as we go on in through monday afternoon here as well as you can see the spin in the atmosphere and the big trough here across pacific northwest as well it's going to bring some heavy rain across portions of idaho utah wyoming and montana on in through monday night into tuesday as well so now taking a look at this as apparent temperature here. So watch this diurnal and nocturnal cycle and just how ridiculous some of these heat indexes are going to be across places down into Texas, Louisiana, for example. Look at this, 117 degrees. I mean, it's just incredible. Look at the contrast between Texas and the Pacific Northwest right now. Just a huge difference there. And then as we go on in through the nighttime hours, relatively cooling down here, still not much relief across some of the area. The moisture content is really high along with these warm temperatures. So it doesn't really give you much relief when you're tr when you're out and about and you're trying to sweat you're just not getting much evaporative cooling across your skin surface and you can see again up towards 117 degrees for some areas across texas into southern oklahoma including louisiana it's very warm conditions continue go on into tuesday and not much of a change and in fact it includes much of oklahoma even southern kansas there with some heat indexes potentially reaching 120 degrees Fahrenheit here so just kind of ridiculous heat and there's not much relief coming in the future as well we'll take a look at some of the extended forecast models here in a moment this is looking at Houston Galveston Texas dangerous heat continues you know you're going to get these hinted indexes probably up over 115 degrees this would be for Corpus Christi the, you know the alarm has been sounded there out across Texas I know everybody down there is pros at beating the heat but this is still just oppressive and this is looking at Corpus Christi check this out Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday just the oppressive heat continues and this is all the way down towards Brownsville here and you can see heat index is approaching 120 degrees no joke folks this is brownsville con for these temperatures you can see the temperatures here but the heat index just adds to this and look at these lows only in the mid 70s down towards 80 degrees this is looking at the two meter temperature anomaly here trying to look for some relief down here across texas and you can clearly see the huge trough there across pacific northwest big contrast in temperatures there 
but you're not getting much relief here. You notice a lot of the state down here and some of the Midwest, even up towards Iowa and towards Wisconsin up there and a lot of Canada there above average as you go on in through the extended forecast and not much of a cool down, maybe a little bit from the panhandle and some of Southeast, East Colorado, Kansas, Oklahoma there, but yeah, not much of a cool down showing up here in the extended models. And you can see that shown in the risk of hazardous temperatures, June 24th through June 30th, much of Texas included, some of Southeast New Mexico, Louisiana, Indiana, Arkansas, Oklahoma as well. And you can see that excessive heat moderate even for southern portions of Texas also. Now this is looking something interesting here. You can see there's going to be severe weather going down here across the region. So heads up for that across some of the southeast all the way out towards the Florida panhandle. And if you didn't know, there's a place called Burnt Corn, Alabama. Kind of an interesting name. But you can see damaging winds, golf ball size hail, and tornado or two are possible down here in these severe weather areas here today. Uh, this is dangerous fire weather possible here. And this does this is Flagstaff, Arizona here. So, you know, just be aware of that. Heads up, Monday, June 19th here. This is for tomorrow. And this is for Las Vegas. Check out some of these wind gusts here with that big trough coming down across Pacific Northwest, casting this tight gradient. Look at St. George up towards 50, Cedar City 60, Colorado City 50. Las Vegas could get gusts towards 60 miles per hour. And especially across the higher terrain, you could be pushing 70 plus here across some of the region. And this goes all the way out towards Death Valley, even some of the higher terrain across the Sierra Nevada, California big pressure gradient across a lot of the region. So heads up, give those big rig rigs some room. If you are out driving around on the interstates out here and watch out if you're across some of the lakes, I don't know, you might want to watch out and not go out there today because this wind is going to be howling across the open areas, damage to trees and power lines possible also. This is the three to four temperature outlook here, June 16th. You can see a lot of Texas and New Mexico included in this. This goes all the way through mid July here. So yeah, that's not something you want to see if you're across some of the south there. But Texas, you're used to the heat. But anyway, I wish I had something more to tell you about maybe a cool down coming, but it doesn't look like it. And you can see the above average signal here across Pacific Northwest through mid-June as well. This is three to four week precipitation outlook, kind of above average signal here across in the Intermountain West, including the Pacific Northwest. And that below average signal here doesn't look like the monsoon's coming anytime soon here for Arizona and New Mexico, again, through mid-July here. This is the monthly drought outlook. Let's end this video here with some good news news. You can see the green is drought removal likely and the tan here is drought remains but improves. You can see we got improvement in drought removal here coming across some of the Great Plains out there. The old Dust Bowl country around here looks like it should be improving here as we go through the long term period coming up. Uh, the brown would mean drought persists and drought development likely here across some of Illinois. Indiana, Iowa out there, and even out towards New York and Pennsylvania as well. But hopefully it doesn't develop too bad. But there, this is this is really good news across some of the central areas of the country out here. A lot of farmland out here, and this is very good news. Been getting a lot of rainfall out here so far this severe weather season as we move into summer. So anyways, I'm going to fine tune these videos as we go. I'm trying to pick out some interesting weather across the country and just kind of give a general overview here across the United States. I may even branch out to other places across the planet. As we go, just trying to look for some interesting weather and make weather fun. So anyway, leave some comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see. And I will try to do this again here in the next couple of days. And I'll probably do a California video here in the next couple of days as well. So anyway, I will talk to you guys later.